In this video, we're going to look at integration by substitution. Integration by substitution is regarded as probably the hardest part of the SL course. But to me, it is the most beautiful part of this course because you take something complicated, break it down into constituent parts to make it easier and then solve and then at the end, put it back into its original form. You start by using U substitution. And if you've got a quotient, you always substitute U as the denominator. So I'm going to let U equal X to the power of 4 plus 2. Now I'm going to differentiate. So I get DU over DX is equal to 4x cubed. I'm going to rearrange to get a value for dx. So therefore, dx is equal to du over 4x cubed. Now I'm going to substitute back into the original. So I'm going to differentiate. x cubed is still there x to the power of 4 plus 2 is u and dx becomes du over 4x cubed. Well, I can start cancelling now. The x cubes cancel. So therefore I'm going to integrate 1 quarter u du. Therefore, I could take the quarter outside. I want a quarter, the integral of 1 over u du. Well, 1 over u is equal to 1 quarter log u plus c. Well, I know what u is. u is x to the power of 4 plus 2. So therefore, my final answer is 1 quarter log x to the power of 4 plus 2 plus c. Question 2. Integrate 10x squared brackets 5x cubed plus 4 all raised to the power of 3 dx. In this case I'm going to let u equal 5x cubed plus 4. I'm going to differentiate so I get du over dx is equal to 15x squared. I'm going to rearrange to get dx. So dx is equal to du over 15x squared. Now I can substitute everything back into the original. So I'm going to integrate 10x squared. The bracket 5x cubed plus 4 is now u raised to the power of 3. dx is now du over 15x squared. I can now do some cancelling. The x squareds cancel and 10 and 15 become 2 and 3. So I'm going to integrate 2u cubed du over 3, which is equal to, I'll take the 2 over 3 outside, so 2 thirds, the integral of u cubed du, well I can integrate that, so it's 2 thirds u to the power of 4 over 4, which is equal to 2u4 over 12, which is equal to 1 sixth u to the power of 4. Well, I know what u is. It's 5x cubed plus 4. So therefore, I've got 1 sixth brackets 5x 
cubed plus 4 to the power of 4. And don't forget to add your C. Let's do 3. Integrate x to the power of 4 times cos x to the power of 5 plus 3 dx. In this example, I'm going to let u equal x to the power of 5 plus 3. So I'm going to differentiate. So I get du over dx is equal to 5x to the power of 4. Rearrange to find dx. Therefore, dx is equal to du over 5x to the power of 4. I'm going to substitute everything back in. So I end up with the integral of x to the power of 4 cos u du over 5x to the 4. So I can now cancel. The x4 goes with the x4. So I am left with one fifth. I've taken that, I'll take that outside. The integral of cos u du. The integral of cos u is sine u. So therefore, I get one fifth sine u plus c but I know what u is so therefore my final integral is one fifth sine x to the power of 5 plus 3 plus c question 4 integrate 2x times e to the power of 3x squared dx so in this case I'm going to let u equal 3x squared, so differentiate, I get du over dx is equal to 6x, rearrange for dx, so therefore I get dx is equal to du over 6x. Now I can substitute everything back in, so therefore I'm left with the integral of 2x e to the power of u times du over 6x. Well, the x's cancel, and I'm left with 2 over 6, which is equal to, take the 2 over 6, which is 1 third outside, the integral e to the u du. Well, the integral of e to the u is just e to the u. So therefore, I get one third e to the u plus c. But I know what u is. So therefore, I get one third e to the power of 3x squared plus c. Question 5. Integrates bracket 6x plus 7 times bracket 3x squared plus 7x raised to the power of 5 dx. So I'm going to let u equal 3x squared plus 7x. Now I'm going to differentiate, so I'll get u over dx is equal to 6x plus 7. If I rearrange for to find dx, so therefore dx is equal to du over 6x plus 7. Now I can substitute everything back into the original, so I get the integral of 6x plus 7 times u to the power of 5 times du over 6x plus 7. Well, the 6x plus 7 cancel. So I'm left with the integral of u to the power of 5 du. Well, that's easy to integrate. 
it's equal to u to the power of 5 u to the power of 6 over 6 plus c I know what u is so therefore my final answer is 1 sixth 3x squared plus 7x to the power of 6 plus c question 6 integrate 8x cubed minus 15x squared all over 2x to the power of 4 minus 5x cubed dx. When you're using substitution, there are a few shortcuts if you spot them correctly. If I look at the bottom and I put it equal to u, I get u is equal to 2x4 minus 5x cubed. If I now differentiate, I get du is equal to 8x to the power of 3 minus 15x squared. That means the top is the differential of the bottom. Therefore, I could write this. I could integrate f dash of x over f of x dx. If that is the case, if you have got a function in this form, the integral is equal to log f of x plus c. So therefore, in this case, the integral of 8x cubed minus 15x squared all over 2x to the power of 4 minus 5x cubed is equal to log 2x to the power of 4 minus 5x cubed plus c. You might also be asked to solve definite integrals using substitution. So question 7. Integrate between 0 and 1 the function 6x brackets 3x squared plus 1 raised to the power of 3 dx. So I'm going to let u equal 3x squared plus 1. I differentiate, so I get du over dx is equal to 6x. Rearrange to find dx, so therefore dx is equal to du over 6x. Now substitute everything into the original. So I'm going to be integrating between 0 and 1, 6x u cubed times du over 6x. The 6x is cancel, so I'm left with the integral between 0 and 1 of u cubed du, which is equal to u to the power of 4 over 4 plus c. Therefore, we get 3x squared plus 1 to the power of 4 divided by 4 plus c. Now we can find the numerical value. So we get 3x squared plus 1 raised to the power of 4 divided by 4 between 0 and 1, substitute 1 in, so 1 squared is 1, times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4, so we get 4 raised to the power of 4, which is 256, divided by 4, subtract, substitute 1 naught in, so we get 1 over 4, which gives us 255, over 4, which is equal to 63.75.